I did it. Hello, guys. It is me, Nugi, yet again, with a League Start build, right at the very end, because, <laughs> let's be honest, picking a lead starter is the hardest thing about PoE. There's been a lot of talk about DD, about Archmage, but with any League Start, obviously we need to play with one of the new gems. And what are the new gems, you might ask? Hold on, I need to find the name myself. <laughs> one moment. Summon Holy Relic of Conviction. It is now two maximum summoned Holy Relics instead of one. So that doubles the damage it can do. Now, if you read the green text, this is very important. Summon a Holy Relic that stays near you. When you hit an enemy with an attack, that Summon Holy Relic triggers a spell with a short cooldown. That deals physical damage to enemies in an area around a nearby enemy. Now, previously, this was around the Holy Relic itself. That means we can attack far away from us, and it's going to cast a spell on the monster. So you no longer need to, like, drag your Holy Relic into the pack for it to attack. It's the dream here. That's the dream. So we can just blah, 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 off screen. And it'll do blah, 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 good damage off screen. Now, here's another special thing. We're also going to be adding Hell of Agony. Why? Because it's also physical damage scaling. So both of these two are scaling physical damage. And then you take Necromancer and blah, 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 blah. New Unholy Might converts all physical into chaos and withers. So we will do a lot of hit damage now as well. So we'll also we'll add poison. We'll do a lot of hit damage. It's going to be like a hybrid build. Uh, the gas duels are insane. I'll, I'll show you my POB in a second. So I think conceptually the combo speaks well to me. We like it. We get to play new gem on launch. We get to play new ascendancy stuff on launch. We get to play off meta stuff. We like not being... We like being a special snowflake. That's what I'm trying to say. And if DS Lily's league start flowchart... Should tell us anything, it is that we have chosen two of the worst gems we could possibly <laughs> choose. They're grayed out, aka build, don't start, on both Hoag and Holy Relic. So is this bait? I guess time will tell. Now, here is my sheet here. Now we're playing which... So the damage here can scale a lot. Um... I'm just going to click this away. So this would be like early game damage. I'll show you what we have here. We have a five link where we link the two skills together is what I've decided on here in the end. Herald of Agony, minion damage, void manip. The thing is void manip scales both the poison and the hit, which is huge. And then unbound ailment, it's the lowest cost multiplier. There are some other ones you could do to Herald of Agony, but socket pressure is high. And I would rather do a five link than two four links to save gems. So decided to do this. If you were two summon holy relics, we have one hail of agony. We're doing around a mill. As you can see, it's also all only 19 gems in a double falling in a five link here, right? Um, and then you do lancing and spraying. Now this is one of the key parts. I do have some footage. It'll probably run at some point. You will see it in the background uh, of how it plays. Now that footage uh, is only a showcase on the play style, right? You are like. Shield charging away. Oh, shit, I forgot to add shield charge in here. Okay, my gem stuff here, I will need to figure out how it's going to play in the end. Because I'm probably not going to be Arcanist branding. I think I have to let that go. Uh, and then I'm, I, I have a divine blessing in here, but I probably have to let that go. Maybe we'll need to add like a, an onset ring. Uh, my gear is just like life suppression gear. Like just regular life suppression gear. Now this shield would be OP to get, right? This is just like a potentially what I would like to find in game. Some of these things are like, I'm trying to like see what defensives I have been able to get here. Now my current EHP here on the side is against Shaper Slams. If you just, if you tag this as none, no melee, 
right? You see, this actually gets kind of cracked. It's a block build. Uh, you can actually max your block chance here. I really would like to add enhance to bone offering, but you know, there's like a lot going on here where I'm like, yeah, yeah, we took the node here for like max blocks with 77 spell block, max spell suppression. Then you can get like a chance to block shield and like against certain things, you are essentially immortal. Um, our max hit is like okay. It's not the greatest in the world, but it's possible. We also have a good amount of armor, meaning that our molten shell, which is not tagged here, uh, gets really strong, right? As you can see, if we just molten shell in time, we actually have really, really good max hit as well. Um, so for a non-Uber build, I think it's going to be hard to die, hopefully. So if anything, this might not be the best boss in the world because what you have to consider here is that with Hoag, you need to maintain hits on the target, maintain hits on the boss to maintain damage. And the same thing for Holy Relic. These are triggered gems essentially where you use lancing steel or spring to to trigger their attacks now lancing steel or spring is really good for holy relic it's um proc rate based on the projectiles uh trigger at a good interval for the holy relic and it basically maintains i've tried up to like so 45 with a scuffed setup is easy i'm assuming that we can get all the way up to 50 right now the damage here you're seeing is actually without quality so let's say you got um, you got this thing up here, and you just added quality right now. Silver nineteen gems were one seven, right? Once if you ever get this herald of agony to level twenty nine, it gets completely cracked. Um, levels on this thing is cracked. In the six link, we start adding the empower. Now, once you add a six link, you probably need to add this. Um, to then fix the mana again. We're EB, so mana is fine. Like, uh, casting is fine. Um, late game, you want Divine Flesh. Because Divine Flesh is good, especially for pen stuff. Um, this doesn't really, <coughs> really change much in terms of your EHP. Yeah, it's mostly like, it's good against pen. Um, and it enables, like, this stuff here as well. Uh, the armor can be applied here. So it's, it's really good against uh, multi-hits and against pen and it's just good chaos res so it's it's quite it's quite a powerful jewel and it can convert like this node here as well which doesn't really do anything for us you can maybe get some nice small notes here like you're hoping that you get like stuff like armor and and all this stuff like uh fist mitigation so there's a lot you can find by getting a divine flesh here it's it's really powerful uh if you hit it so consider that uh outside of that this build is just ghastly jewels with life and poison on hits. As you can see, we could get more damage from here. You just get whatever jewel here for minion damage. Then the herald clusters are great. Like they add a truckload of damage. And uh, then you can add like bone of chaos or you can get suppression here. Uh, suppression is a bit hard to get, but we can run full rare gear. Like literally full rare gear and you're fine. Suppression on everything. So I think it's a pretty cool build. I think it should play well. I think one of the issues with playing Herald of Agony is often that it doesn't kind of... It's hard for, for to make it kind of just clear fast. Because you're always waiting. But with this constant trigger with two Summon Holy Relics, uh, the procs should... Like the Summon Holy Relic proccing and you're just shooting should actually be able to just clear super well is what i'm hoping that's the build i don't have like a leveling guide it's something i need to like i just i'm just gonna yolo something on league start that's what i always do and i'll make some build up if this build functions well and i'm happy with it i will make build updates and let you know the progress i will update you on the progress either way here on youtube uh, and you can always just tune in and if it's good i will make a more like in-depth explanation of all the decisions I've made over time, all the choices we've made. But as a league starter, this is like my little attempt at diverging and leaning into some of my previously favorite gems like Hoag. And I've always made it to make a wanted to make a holy relic build. So with that, that's what we're gonna try. It's an easy, it's a good ascendancy to respect if we fail. And then we can always go on the minion skills, DD. All sorts of stuff like it's it's easy to transition away from it's easy to gear so yep that's what we're gonna try and remember guys if i can do it 
you can too.